Okay, this is super macro mode, macro mode on the camera, and then the extra macro lens added, and little teeny roses. Oh my goodness. Really hard to hold it still when the tiniest little move is gigantic here. Okay, take a little macro lens off. Do just the macro mode. Oh yeah, not nearly as close. Am I on macro mode? Yep. So that can hold the whole flower. Now these are little teeny flowers. So maybe less than two inches across. But it's still focusing at like mm, six inches maybe. And so this macro lens really does make a big difference. Really getting in there, like. Wind's blowing a little, I'm shaking a little. So let's take that off. Switch back out, and I can get an idea of the size. You know, here is the flower I was just showing you. Ooh, here's one that's just opening up. So we're going to move in. You'll see it slowly go out of focus. That's with standard, just regular lens setting. Flipping over to macro. I'll start. Alright, zoom in. I mean, I'm not zooming in, I'm moving it closer. Now I'm getting into the good focus, it looks like. And then kind of passing it. Come after that. You see the leaf down there is in good focus, but I'm too close for the macro mode. So now I'm going to stick the macro lens. Come after that same flower. Now you can see I can get really close. I'll come into the flower as it gets in focus. Really, really close. See, there's no chance that leaf far away is just a blur. I'll move towards it. Really see the detail of that leaf. Using the macro lens in macro mode. I'm going to switch back to regular mode using the macro lens. Really, not much difference. A little bit further away. Back up to the rose. Yeah, it's different. So here, let's see if I can be on it when I flip. Macro mode. 